um, the rotisserie chicken that's already cooked or you can just boil some yourself oven bake it stove top it however you want to make your chicken I was actually decluttering my room so I just put this in the pot boiled it with some bouillon some chicken bouillon and now I'm gonna get this um, hand mixer so that I can sh I'm gonna use this hand mixer so I can shred it up of the chicken broth juice that was in there so that the chicken wouldn't get dried up whenever I use the hand mixer on it I've seen this recipe on Facebook a lot of times and a lot of people on the comment area were saying that they do not like the Dorito casserole but I saw the ingredients on there and I can understand why they don't like it and a lot of people add water I'm not gonna add water the two things that I use, this sauce is so easy, and this is also how it makes our cream enchiladas, is one can, one big can, um, what is this, one pound of cream of chicken. So you can use the Campbell's, um, it doesn't matter, I use Campbell's, but we buy this one because it's cheaper, and I like the taste, sometimes generic tastes better, and then one pound of sour cream. That's it, these two things, no water added, no milk added. And some recipes say half of this, so they'll use one of the little cans. This is 26 ounces, so they'll use the little one. I think it's what, a 16 ounce, whatever. Anyways, the smaller one, and I use a big one. So I think that's why they're getting those um, bad reviews on it. So what we're gonna do with these two things, we're gonna head on over to the stove. Created some air pockets. There we go. And I have the stove on a medium low. Then I'm going to add the sour cream. You don't want it too high, not like real low, but almost, almost medium, but not really. And that's it. You're just going to fold it in and just let it melt together. Till it becomes like one cream and it's all mixed up. Right now the oven is preheating at 350 degrees. It is ready chicken is ready this is a fast and easy recipe my kids love it my husband has actually requested it for today which I thought was perfect because like I said I was busy getting ready for a DIY project in my room so just mix this around and it's still thick and a little bit it's gonna thin out with the heat and this is the texture that I'm going for. See how it just slides off this little spatula. Okay, so let me turn so this off. What you need is, of course, a bag of Doritos, some cheese, whatever cheese you prefer. I'm going to use mozzarella cheese. And, of course, your shredded chicken with the sauce that we just made on the oven. I like to put sauce on the bottom first so that the chips don't burn um, when it's in the oven. Get your Doritos or whatever chips you want. I love the way Doritos taste with this. The nacho cheese kind. Spread it out. Get some chicken. Pour it on there. Okay. I like to put like a few clumps and then I just go like this. Spread it over and then add the cheese. And we're just going to repeat it. If I used to make rice when I made this, and I would add rice in this casserole. I just didn't have time for that today. Same process. Doritos. Chicken. And this kind of does taste like um, sour cream enchiladas, huh, Helen? Mm-hmm. And that is Helen's favorite enchilada. Again, put a few clumps on here. I'm going to put four. And spread it out. If you want to put more, put more. I love this sauce. Remember, I added no water, no milk. Just two ingredients. I'm going to have one more layer. 
And the only reason we have the oven on is just to melt this cheese. This is the last layer. There we go. And finish it with your choice of cheese. I usually use three cheese blend. But lately I've just been... I don't know, I've been craving mozzarella more than anything. Now this is going to go in the oven for about five to seven minutes. It's just for the cheese to melt. And that's it. All right, the cheese is all melted. Looks like it's going to be very, very cheesy. That's it.